Good afternoon from the Go Local Live Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center here in what has turned out to be a sunny Wednesday again. See, we're keeping this trend going where it gets sunny eventually by the time I'm for the show. Like a little bit warmer, but you know, we'll get there. So today, as promised, when I talked about Mother's Day last month, I said that we would definitely do a segment that would talk about preparing and getting ready to celebrate dads for Father's Day. So you've got 11 days from today before it's Father's Day. Now being a dad of four, I have to say, I consider it a very important day. I think you should all take to very seriously and try to make plans for dads. That being said, I've got a couple things that I want to highlight beforehand. Everybody knows that I'm a fan of Alex Nani, obviously, and that I wear the Liberty Copper Collection that they have out. Um, and they just launched their new men's line. So talking about dad's gifts, they launched in times for Father's Day, and I've got the anchor on. This is a really cool new one that they came out, very detailed piece of one of the men's cuff bracelets that they did. And then I've got two others that I picked up that are really cool that are gonna be gifts for me from my father and my grandfather. The Soda Light, which is really, really neat. It's got this flexible style, how you put it on. And then the leather one, which is the Path of Life. So a lot of the women's ones that you've seen out have the Path of Life going on in the bangle. This leather one is Really, really cool. Armando, I know you're looking at these because you probably messaged Kate already. These guys are located in Newport and in Cranston at their stores for Alex Nani, but Armando, no, you're not stealing this. You gotta go get your own. But some great dad gift ideas, and we're gonna talk about some other ones with all of my guests that'll be with me today. Um, the guest that I got coming in is I have Chef Almanzo who's gonna join me in just a minute, and he's coming in from Fleming's, which is really like three, four blocks away from where I'm at right now. Then I've got Andrea coming in from Tel Aviv. Uh, which is over on the waterfront here. Beautiful, beautiful spot. I think they're about their year anniversary now. My friend Anne Marie is joining me from Blackbird Farms. She was in about a year ago with us. A lot of great things happening and they're launching some really cool things for Father's Day that I think will uh, fit in nice for some plans for dad. And then my final guest is going to be Bill Connolly coming in from Ironworks Tavern, which is out in Warwick. Um, a really great establishment and I just want to put out there to, to fully declare that Ironworks is someone that I've worked with a lot over the years. Um, they've been a client of mine for my companies and I'm really close with Lori over there so I want to put that out there everybody knows but they are a great great establishment and another place that we'll talk about for Father's Day. So we've got a lot of amazing stuff here. Uh, the aromas are unbelievable and I want to get started with Chef Almanzo from Fleming's. Come on in Chef. I got. I don't know what to smell first. My senses are in overload. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks Rick. for coming in. So you guys have got a lot going on. You've been over in the Omni for how long now? How long have you been over there? Because it was. Uh, the, it's been about ten years. Ten now. years, right? Right. Because were you there when it was Weston? When it was the Weston? It was time? the Weston. So correct. you guys were there when it was the Weston. Your space downstairs is an amazing spot because you can access it from the street. The guests can access it there. Right. 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 And we, you know, it's a great location right in the bottom of the uh, Omni Hotel. Uh, you know, right across the street from the convention center. It's a great location. Yeah, and it's, you know, there's this mix too with Fleming's because you guys have locations all over the place and you tend to be in areas that get a lot of good tourist crowds. So you get a lot of people visiting, just staying in the hotels, people that are at the convention center, like you said, and then water fire, right? I mean, I got to imagine water fire nights. I've been over there and the bar is like five deep just at the bar <laughs> right, to yeah. be there. So everybody knows that I'm a wine enthusiast. One of the biggest things I have to compliment Fleming's on is your wine selection. You guys have got an over-the-top selection. How many things do you have by the glass? How many wines by the glass? Uh, well, we have 30 different varietals by the, uh, you know, by the bottle and by the glass. Um, we used to have 100 glasses by the wine. Uh, we kind of slowed down on that, but we still offer a wide variety of, of wines by the bottle. Yeah, there's at least got to be 100 on there. Every uh, time I look at that menu, it seems like it's growing. Yeah, there's quite a bit now. And you've got everything. I mean, I'm talking about from California to you've got, I saw Chilean wines on there. I saw Australian wines on there. The selection's pretty amazing. Right. So our, our company was based out of California. So we do have a lot of uh, California-based wines and stuff like that. But we have a wide, wide variety and range. So do me a favor, before we get to the great food, which is mouthwatering here right now, kind of give us a visual of how Fleming's is set up and the operation that you guys have going over there. Right, so uh, we kind of uh, are moving in a different direction. Uh, each store, uh, their chef is letting, they're letting the chefs uh, be more creative with local and fresh ingredients. And uh, that's the way uh, we're moving as a company. And nice. uh, they're letting us, you know, be more creative. So this, the local sourcing thing has been a great movement that's been going on. When you come in over there, the menus, and I, I did notice this difference because I was traveling God, two weeks ago and I went to a Fleming's and I noticed that there was a difference in the menu there than the difference here. And I had a great dinner. I have to shout out to Brian Sawyer. I had a great dinner there that he took me to about three weeks ago. Nice. We had an event there for Gloria Gemma and then I stayed after and had dinner outside. But talk to me about how the restaurant is set up because you've got kind of different rooms as you maneuver through. So kind of give people a visual of the restaurant setup. Right. So you walk in, you know, you come in, you go to the bar. That's the first place that you'll enter. 
Um, and then we have a little room right off the side. It uh, fits about seven to 10 people. Uh, it's good for intimate spaces or you know an intimate party, something like that. Or uh, we do a lot of uh, pharmaceutical parties and stuff like that in there. Um, and as you're walking through, you're gonna start entering the main dining room. And uh, that's where our kitchen is. We do have an open kitchen, so it's very vibrant and you know full of life when, uh, when it's busy. Um, we also do have two private rooms in the back, but they connect to make one big room. So uh, it's good if we have a larger party or something like that, we can accommodate for that. And that was one of the questions I did get asked by you guys in my instant message is do they take private parties? The chef just answered that. And the room is, I can say I've been there personally for events. It's when they open it up, especially to the double room, it's a good size room. Oh, it's especially a, it's for a, a huge cocktail room. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's, that's what we usually use them for, cocktail receptions. Uh, people love to mingle and you know talk to each other, so it's a great atmosphere for that. Now, do you still have that sm that seating area that's outside towards the uh, At this moment, not right now, uh, because they're doing finalizations on the city end of it. Okay. Um, so at this point, we're not doing any outside seating, but right. hopefully, uh, you know, soon to come. Good. Okay. That, I remember yeah. that was a nice area, and I know that it became challenging with the walking path and the construction and stuff right. that was happening out right. there. Yeah, it was a little challenging and with all the weather and stuff like that. So. Oh yeah, we've dealt with it. This weather's been crazy. Right. So chef, the menu over there is to me is absolutely stunning. The wine list that you pair up, which has been an important part of how you guys set up things, it's great. And for Father's Day, I saw that you had a lot going on, which made me think not only do I like the food as a father to come in and be celebrated, but you've got a lot that you're celebrating for Father's Day. So let's talk about some of the food and the things that you're doing for that Father's Day weekend. Right, so uh, we're offering a uh, brunch for Father's Day. Uh, we open at 10 and it goes to about three, but then we are open for dinner all day as well. Um, and it is a three course meal. Uh, we are offering a uh, scrambled egg with a sliced filet here. That's what this one is right here. Yep, right? Uh, it comes with uh, caramelized onions and uh, some blister tomatoes. It's a gr it's a great seller. Um, it's you know I'm sure Liter dads would literally love it. a steak and eggs right there. Yeah, it's a great steak and egg dish. And uh, you know right here we do have our 35 ounce prime this tomahawk thing is steak. Crazy. It's an amazing steak. It's an amazing cut. Uh, people who come in and get it, our guests love it. Um, you know, we can slice it for you before it goes out to the table. Um, you know, and it comes with these delicious uh, complimentary butters right here. Oh so it, it is an amazing. You aren't kidding when you call steak. this thing a tomahawk. I mean, look at this thing. Yeah, it, it's huge. That is wild. Yeah. How big is it? How many ounces? Thirty-five ounces. Thirty-five ounces. Thirty-five for ounces. Yes. That would take me like two days for me to <laughs> eat that. Now I got to ask a silly question. Is that hard to cook? Not really. Um, it's it's very simple, you know. You put it on your grill, and then you know just just let the grill do its work. My very God. simple, yeah. It's a massive piece of meat. Okay, so Dad's right there. That's I challenge. I should do a challenge. We'll do a social media challenge. I want to see anybody that eats that in one sitting. There you go. That's a great challenge. All right. Kate's gonna do it. Kate, Kate, you're not a dad. Come no. on, you gotta gotta take your dad and we see if he does it. We can still try it. Although I would like to see Kate eat that, to be very honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got back here? All right, so this is a uh, this is a lobster pot pie. This is actually uh, moving towards our new menu. Awesome. Um, this is our chef's table. Uh, you know, like I was saying, moving forward with the company, where the chefs are being allowed to be more creative. Uh, so this is one of my creations. It's a twist on a lobster pot pie. Um, so you know, it's a great dish. People love it. Um, and it comes God, with this butter poached lobster tail right on top. And that is massive. That yeah. is huge too. See, there's no, no shortage of portion control over there. You'll be in great shape over we, there. We want our guests to leave full and happy. All right, so let's go to the wines. I know we got one more dish to show as well, but what did you bring for wine today? All right, so we have a uh, red wine. Uh, it is from France, and it's a great pairing to go with uh, the tomahawk or even the sliced filet here with the, uh, with the eggs. And then we have a, uh, a white wine, which is from uh, the... I believe France as well, um, and it's a nice, crisp, light wine to go with our uh, turf and surf that we've added to our chef's table. No, turf and surf. The turf and surf. I like it. They changed the name. That's awesome. A twist on the surf That's, and turf. Yeah. So one of the things about the wine I want to bring up because I know that I've had this in the past. Do they still offer that you can kind of get the the tasting flights where you can come in and try? Yeah, different? absolutely. Okay. If, if you know anyone wants to come in and try some samplings of wines, that's more than okay. Yeah, this is amazing too. Right? Good choices. It's, it's a great wine. All right, and then we're gonna go to the last dish in a second, but what do we got here? All right, so awesome bottles. Going with the Father's Day theme, we are offering uh, a bourbon flight to go along with your tomahawk if you'd like, um, but we do have a uh, Knob Creek here. We have a uh, Kentucky whiskey here, and then we also have a basil, which is uh, a basil Hayden's, which is from Kentucky as well. 
Um, all three of these are amazing, um, and we are offering it for Father's Day as well as a few days after. Awesome. So this is kind of like the tasting profiles of these. So, so to me, and I'm still learning about spirits, everybody knows that, but to me, getting into tasting these things, the profiles, you just mentioned the different things with them, that's got to be unique. Take them like this, like simpler, similar to having wine, to right. doing a wine flight with it and tasting with it each thing. Right, absolutely. You know, um, so the Knob Creek is a little darker, a little uh, more barrel flavor, so that might pair well with that. Um, but all three of these will pair one really way or well. Another, yeah. Right. You know, so, depending on what, what your profile profile is. Now, you mentioned the chef's table right. that's coming out, which I thought was a phenomenal thing. Is that something that is ongoing? Is it evolving now? How right. So it's going to be ongoing. Uh, we will be changing our menu every 30 days uh, to keep it local, keep it fresh, keep it innovative. Um, you know, we want to entice other guests, you know, not just from Providence, but all you know being in the hotel we see all kinds of, oh, yeah, from all of over guests the place. from yeah. all over the place so you know we want to keep it invitive and uh the theme of this uh chef's table was to be uh for the summer very light and uh enriching and just making us you know have local flavors so i think that's awesome so one of the things i promise i'm going to do is i'm going to go in to see this chef's table because i really want to get pictures of it right so this you got to tell me about because i see bacon and asparagus right. two of my favorite things in the world so right here is our uh, our turf and surf my my spin on the surf and turf we have a uh, a bacon wrap filet which is over a cauliflower puree and then we have uh, grilled asparagus and then for our uh, surf we have a uh, halibut yep. which has been blackened uh, a little mango salsa and a mango aioli to yeah. complement. Okay, that's my Father's Day right there. So this is cauliflower there? That is a cauliflower puree with the uh, bacon filet. All right, so I have to put something out there because I got an instant message from someone telling me that originally I put up too many meat pictures. And I have to say, okay, I put up a seafood picture when I did the promoting today. And I do have to say, and again, bringing Amory in from Blackbird Farm, we're going to talk about what they have going on, is that I am a big vegetable person. So I don't leave me. It's not, you know, a girl, a guy thing. I am a huge vegetable person. Right here, the that's amazing. The cauliflower. Right. That it was is. your creation yep. of that? See, that's awesome. Yep. I will eat that up in a second. Awesome. And the asparagus, I eat that day and night. Yeah, I mean, so, it's local, fresh, you know, fresh ingredients. That's, that's what the theme of this menu was. And, uh, you know, we're excited for the for the very cool the future of uh, Flemings in Providence as well as you know well, the other Flemings. You guys have been here for ten years, and you got a lot more things that you're doing. People love you; they're coming over on a regular basis. And so we've got the Sunday brunch for Father's Day, all right. right. And then we have the idea that I want to throw out there too, because I was talking to your um, co-chef out here, is gift certificates. So gift certificates for dads are awesome because dads sometimes on Father's Day may may not want to move around but if you buy them a gift certificate I'm gonna say this with every guest I have coming in today they're going to love you forever especially if they know they can go in and try this now is this is the tomahawk on a regular thing or is this just for Father's Day um quite quite a bit we have it on Running hand as a special yeah hand. um but that you know it's just we promoting it for the Father's Day it's a great cut of meat um so we're just kind of pushing it for Father's Day right but uh we we here we here in Providence have it all the time. That's awesome. So, so I mean, any I, any time of the day you want to come in and grab a tomahawk, please feel free. Okay, so we're gonna put out a challenge, and the chef here was nice enough to give me some twenty five dollar gift cards that we can put out on social media. So between my Instagram account and Facebook, we're gonna put out some challenges based on his interview today and based on this tomahawk over the next week. So we're gonna have some $25 gift cards to give away. Thank you very much for doing that, chef, right, and thank course. you to the team thank over you. at Flemings. So I think we covered a, a lot, and we the did. amazing stuff I think you're doing for Father's Day is unreal because people need to dedicate and thank us dads out there. I got four right. crazy ones in it. God knows I need more wine and more food. So, <laughs> but thank you right. very much, chef. No, it was great to have you come in. And I look forward to tasting this in just a little bit. Of course. Bit. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Appreciate it. All right, Taylor. We got some stuff here, Chef. Thank you, Chef Joshua. Taylor, I'm going to let you get this because I don't dump any of these wines. I'm not going to. All right. All right. So a lot of great ideas to get us started. And Fleming's is a wonderful, wonderful spot. All the places I have today, seriously, are great spots that we chose that represent the theme of Father's Day well. My next guest I'm going to bring in is Andrea, and she's coming in from Tel Aviv Waterfront, which is right over here, near our Fornos, near the Hot Club, um, right on the province waterway over there by the Hurricane Barrier. So we're going to bring them in, get started with their stuff. Taylor, I got one other thing here. Thanks, Chef. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get Andrea in. We're going to talk about Tel Aviv, and then we'll be getting into, I see my other guests coming in. Awesome. Look at this. Beautiful. Thank you very much. 
What else? Oh, we got cigars. Oh, and we got this famous mojito I've been hearing about. Look at this. I'm going to put this. And oh. the bottle. And the bottle. All right. Okay. Thank you. Look at the display. She's good at this. Thanks for making the time Hi, to come thank in. Thank you so much Thanks for being here. Me. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. And if you wanted to pour an extra. Loving so that. Some. Oh, my God. I'm going to be my glory here. All right. So, first of all, I have to say that when Tel Aviv opened up in this new location, it's been about a year now, right? It's been the yep. year anniversary? As of May 9th. Yeah, so the work that was done at this location to renovate the building was spectacular. I was there for the grand opening. I actually went with Kate and Josh from Go Local here when we did the opening. And the work that was done by the team there was unbelievable. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. But I'm going to have you, if you could, just kind of give us like a, a verbal visual of your setup and where you're located. Okay, so we are downtown Providence waterfront location. Um, we are a fun, casual place to be. Uh, we offer a lot. We offer smoking, non-smoking. Uh, we offer indoor and outdoor, which is good, especially right now in the summer with the waterfront location. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Providence view. Uh, we have live entertainment Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, it starts at 8 o'clock, and it's, it's a perfect location downtown. Yeah, and your patio kind of like multiplies or expands in the summertime, right? Because you've got yes. the deck seating. Um, you got a, a deck on the top, right? So upstairs we have um, a formal dining room. Yep. Uh, then we have the outside patio on the second floor, which oversees the city. Then we have downstairs, which is an outside bar that stays open all year long. We have the entire outside, which is the grass area. And then we have the uh, entire waterfront location, which is all outside seating. Yeah, and this grass area is beautiful. There's some really, really cool shots that I think were taken from a drone image of what the whole property looks like yes. coming from the waterway. And it's just, it's breathtaking. And it's its hard to imagine that a place like this is in Providence because of the style of how you guys have set it up. I mean, literally three bars. It yes. really makes you feel like you're three at a waterfront location that's outside of Providence, to be honest with you. And Chef Al, who is the chef over there, has been there since you guys opened. And he has done a great job, in my opinion, of evolving your menu. I, am, I have to say I'm a big fan of of Tel Aviv. So let's talk about, I know for Father's Day that you got, you're doing a brunch, right? Uh, so for Father's Day, we're going to be offering a brunch and we're also going to be offering um, a seafood fest, basically. Nice. So we are going to be doing uh, clam cakes, a clam boil. We're going to be doing uh, red chowder, white chowder, and a surf and turf for Father's Day. Really? Yes. My God, good job, chef. That's fantastic. All right. And the cigar thing. So you mentioned that you've got smoking and non-smoking. So the downstairs where the humidor is, yes. is there's a, a lot of selections. Yes. So we have a walk-in humidor, which offers over 400 cigars. Uh, we also offer uh, hookahs. So it's not just a cigar atmosphere. You can enjoy a hookah while you're having appetizers, dinner. And uh, we offer two memberships. We offer the VIP membership, which is um, special discounts and special perks. We also offer our club membership, which is two signature cigars and two, uh, cocktail for $20 a month. Really? Yes. So this goes back to the idea of talking about gift certificates. So this would be an awesome thing to go in. And I know that there's a lot of people that reached out to me that they thought it was cool that I was featuring a place that had cigars because it's, you know, it's not that common to be able to find in the state anymore some place where you can still enjoy this. So I think from a gift certificate standpoint, whether you're talking about the membership that you just mentioned yep. or the one that gets you the, the VIP one that gets you the perks, yep. I think that both of those are a great opportunity. And not only that, but people have been able to go in and purchase these like this and still the have these. The entire box as well. Right. Yep. You can offer, uh, you can buy, purchase for a gift or for yourself a single cigar or an entire box. So this is another great gift idea for the guys that enjoy doing this. And I know a lot of my friends do because, again, they were complimenting me on the fact that you're coming in. So congratulations to the team in accomplishing this. You guys have done a lot. Now, yep. Chef Al's menu. Well, first, let me ask you this. What are the hours right now? What are the hours of operation? So right now we are open every single day, 11 a.m. till uh, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., depending if it's a Monday through Thursday, it's 1 a.m., Friday, Saturday, it's 2 a.m. Okay, so you guys have got a wide-ranging wide hours. White there. selection. We're open all year long, every day, rain, shine, uh, snowstorm. We're <laughs> yeah, open every single day. I've seen that on social yes. media. You guys have stayed open. So this ability to be able to go over there, you've got a lot of time to be able to sit. I know that there's friends of mine that reached out to me that they go there just to have cocktails and enjoy, but yep. taking a look at this menu we're going to talk about next is really important. So let's talk about what you brought today. What do we got here first okay. of all? Okay, so is this is our paella. Uh, this is our paella that has braid saffron rice. It's got chorizo, it's got seafood, and it has chicken. It's delicious. It's um, amazing. It's, it serves, you know, for yourself. You can share. It's delicious. It's actually my favorite. And you said it's got chorizo in there, huh? Yep. 
Charisse uh, seafood, that. so Shrimp and chicken. Clams. Unbelievable. That's awesome. All right, and then what do we got over here? Because I know this has been a popular one. Yes, so this is our ahi tuna. Um, we can serve this as an appetizer, or we can also serve it as a dinner with the um, vegetables and noodles. Beautiful. See, so I'm not just covering steaks, everybody. See, they brought a great variety here. We went to seafood now. All right, let's see if we can put and this here. And this is our sampling plate. This is definitely our number one appetizer. Um, it offers our baba ganoush, our hummus, pita, uh, grape leaves, and then, of course, all the vegetables along with it. Grape leaves. Um, the grape leaves are definitely, uh, you know, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. It's definitely a very popular plate. I'm loving this one. See, I'm going to prove right now how much I love vegetables. See? All right. What we got in the corner up here? Oh my gosh, All right. good. And this was just a display for our drink. Uh, our number one drink that we offer is our Mediterranean mojito. Uh, we use our own uh, infused vodka that we infuse for 30 days. Um, if you want to try it yourself. Oh my God, that's what we're so it this is, is our the own right personal vodka. You can't find this anywhere. Um, you have to come try it at our location. Um, and we make our Mediterranean mojito with it. So, so this is in the mojito right here? Yes. Okay. So you're going to need your mint, your limes, of course, our vodka, and um, Kate, I'll try, try this for you and make it's sure good. it's okay. She beat you to it, though. She did? <laughs> oh, man! See what happens? Oh my God, you can smell the fig right away. Yes, All right, fresh so fig right here. So these are figs and the The limes. limes. Yep, you're going to muddle your limes, your mint, um, your simple syrup. Uh, you're going to shake it. You want to break the oils in the mint and the lime. Of course, then you're going to add our own infused vodka, shake it up a little bit, and top it off with some soda water. Oh my God, that's unreal. That's unbelievable. It's, it's definitely good. And that is our presentation, so you can also see that it's our very own. So you and I were talking about this on the phone. When I first met the owner over a year ago before he opened up the new location, yes. he was crazy about this fig vodka that he had me trying, and he had these amazing drinks that he was making. So he stopped using this fig vodka that's already done, and now he's making his own. So now he is basically making his own. Um, he wants to make everything his own, and he's very detailed. He is very hands-on about what he offers and what he serves to the customers. So he wanted to make sure it was the right taste with the right drink, that it's going to be his own and his wow. name all over it. So I cannot believe how good this is, and I am not like a big vodka drinker. I cannot believe the fruit flavor that's in this. And you said how long does it in there? Uh, 30 days. 30 days? Yes. So in, we infuse our own vodka for 30 days with the fig, and so, then we uh, serve it to the bar. So what are some of the other cocktails you can make with this that you, that you recommend? Uh, the second uh, cocktail that we make with this is definitely just a straight-up martini. The flavor is so good. It's, it's not powerful. It's not too sweet. Um, just chilled. Um, you can have it on the rocks or a martini. And, um, of course, our mojito. So as I get to the mojito, it seems like the, you know, because people can come in throughout the day. They don't have to be there just yep. for the lunch hours yep. or the dinner hours. And coming on a Sunday, I think if you're going to bring your dad for Father's Day over there, definitely call these guys and make a reservation because it is a popular spot to get yes. into. But you will want to sit and relax. And I think the nice thing is the way you have the setup is that if someone's eating brunch upstairs and they want to yep. go down and have a cigar, they can have their brunch, go down and have a cigar and sit and relax for a little while. There's yes. no pressure to kind of move and, and get out of the pint. It's more, it's very loungish. Right. So basically to give you a feel of Tel Aviv, uh, it has a lot of different aspects of it. You can go upstairs, you can be in the formal setting formal dining room, you can enjoy inside, outside. Uh, when you walk in downstairs, it's a lounge feeling and the main bar. Uh, if you want to stay away from the sun, you can be out indoors. If you want to enjoy some sun, if you're there early, you can sit outside. Uh, we have umbrellas. You can sit under an umbrella. You can sit under the sun. So it's a little bit of everything. You can move around throughout the day, however you are. Um, inside, outside, cool, too hot. So now if someone wanted to come over, because I just had this question on social media earlier, they're like, what if we just want to come over and have drinks with our dad and have a couple of appetizers? Yep. The drinks I know you obviously get covered. You guys have a great program, yes. and I know you're very familiar with what you guys carry over yes. there. What would be, maybe it's one of your favorites or two of your favorites. I know you got this platter, which is unreal. What would be another appetizer or two that you would recommend for people to try and not to miss on the menu? Definitely you can't miss the calamari. Our calamari is definitely one of a kind. We use uh, sweet peppers. We use black olives, balsamic vinaigrette and we use feta. So our, really? feta. our calamari, it is not your traditional calamari. It offers, it's sweet, it's got the feta, it's crunchy, it's fresh. Everything that we offer is fresh delivery every single day. It's, you can't miss the calamari and you also can't miss our raw bar. Our raw bar is 
Very, very fresh. I didn't even know about the raw bar. How did I miss that? Yes, so we have oysters, little necks, and shrimp. Really? Yes. And is that upstairs or downstairs? Um, anywhere in the place you offer it. It's right on our, our appetizer section. That's unreal. Okay. Yep. So the one of the things that I, and I don't know how I missed the oyster, the raw bar, but one of the things you notice if you go on Tel Aviv's site, and I definitely encourage you to check it out, they've got great photos of their food on there. I give them a lot of compliments for showing that because sometimes websites are not visual enough, but your menu is extensive. Yes. I mean, it's a very extensive we menu. We have uh, three different menus. So we have our lunch menu, our dinner menu, and we have our brunch. Uh, we also do offer a cigar dinner. It's every week. Uh, that's another present you can do for Father's Day. Mm. Uh, we go from every Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on the week, and it gives you two signature cigars, a four-course meal, and it's every week. It's a four-course meal on top of the signature cigar? And the two cigar. cigars for $50. For $50? Yep. You can go get a $50 gift certificate to get a four-course meal and your dad two cigars. My God, I'd be a hero to a lot of people right now. It's a good thing my father lives out of state. So that's, and that happens every week, you're saying? Every single week. So this week it was Tuesday. We're going to be having it Wednesday. Then it goes back to Tuesday. It alternates every week. So how does someone find out about it? Is it posted on your... So it'll always be posted on our social media, okay. which is our Facebook or our Instagram account. Okay, great. And now gift certificates, because we've talked about it so much for the different things they can celebrate. Can they stop in and give them? Are they online or just stop into the restaurant? Uh, they can stop into the restaurant at any time, any time of the day, and just buy the gift certificate. Awesome. Okay. Yep. So Tel Aviv on the waterfront, we'll put some more stuff up. We've taken a lot of great pictures, I'm sure, to post up afterwards. But two more great gift ideas between the cigar program itself, the cigar dinner that's there, and the brunch. So actually three great gift ideas to help you out for Father's Day. And I have to say, from going into a summer spot, and I know in a couple of weeks I'm gonna be covering alfresco dining, but going into a summer spot, this is definitely one of the ones that would have my recommendation to dine alfresco, because between the decks, the patio, and the expanded patio that you have there, it's amazing. You've even got people pulling up in your boats over yes, there. Yes, we so. have the marina right there, so the atmosphere itself is just very unique. Uh, the marina, you can call in for a slip. If you have a boat, welcome, come on every That's day. That's right, I forgot you can so, get a transient yes, slip over there. You can there. get a slip, you can get a slip for a day, a week, a month, whatever you like. So it's definitely a unique atmosphere. Get your boat and have the food brought out to you. Awesome. We could work on that. <laughs> you could work on that. Andrea, thanks for making the time. Thank this you was so fantastic. Much. You got Thank a lot you. of great stuff here. Taylor, if you didn't try the Fit you're definitely going to want to. Some All right, I'll have her help you out with this. Thank you. <clears throat> I know that's all mine, so you don't have to worry about that. The cigar guy. So while you're coming in to get this, I got to ask you: How many cigars are in there? Uh, how many cigars? Over 400. 400. It's amazing, unbelievable. See this guy if you're going over. I'll help you pick out a good one. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So from cigars to outdoor dining to more dinner ideas, more brunch ideas. We just covered two fantastic restaurants, both located in Providence. My last restaurant that'll be at the end is going to be in Warwick. So we'll give you another suggestion for a different part of the state. But now I want to bring in my friend Anne Marie from Blackbird Farm. You guys hear me giving her shout outs on a pretty regular basis, right, Anne Marie? That is correct. On a pretty regular basis because everyone I know, all these phenomenal restaurants, and I'm sure she's going to tell us about some more, are using her products. Look at Thank this you. awesomeness. Oh, look at that. Hope Radishes you're ready to cook. in there. Yeah. I love this. This is so cool. All right, so we got to get right into this because the, there was a couple reasons that I wanted to bring Amory on. She was on with me last year, and we talked about some of the amazing things that she had going on and things that people didn't really think about when coming to visit you, whether it's the farm stand or coming to the mm -hmm. farm in general. But you've got a very cool thing that's kind of launching Father's Day weekend. Right? You got two you things, really. Are exactly two things. Exactly right. Two things. So. Well, Rick, we have what they call the Moo Moo Cow Truck. The Moo Moo um, Cow Truck. Yep. Um, my daughter Laura and my husband have have named this fabulous trailer. It's um, it's a remake of a horse trailer into an ice cream trailer, and into we're going to support Rody Fresh Milk and um, Yacht Club Soda on there, and uh, make some beautiful ice cream sundaes with Rody Fresh ice cream. Oh my God. And uh, everything at our farm stand is local. So it's going to be fabulous. Um, the, and, the, and you sent me a picture of this. This is really converted. It's really it's a horse really that's being converted. It's got a black and white checkered floor in it. Um, it's got sinks. It can hold 12 different kinds of ice cream. Um, so, mean, if, so if you've got a dad that's an ice cream fan, like I happen to be, mm -hmm. And ice cream sodas, which are even better in the summertime. So this is going to launch on Father's Day. It is going to be ready for Father's Day. Um, hoping, fingers crossed. <laughs> yep, fingers crossed that the health department's right on board. Shirley's been working with us, and it should be Shirley, you're getting a shout-out from us, That's and now right. you have to make it happen for all of us dads to be out there for Father's uh, Day. Sugar and Maple, our uh, mascots at the farm Love stand, are going to be 
ready and available to escort people to the Moo Moo trailer. <laughs> and it's going to be something to see. It's, it's going to be something you have never seen before. Now, how often will it be open? Oh, we're going to open, we're going to be open seven days a week from 12 to 9. Awesome. Monday through Sunday. And then we're probably going to open the farm stand the same amount of time so everybody can shop seven days a week. That's awesome. Now, I've said in the past, and I've talked about it many times, even when Amory wasn't out with me, the farm stand is this adorable space, and I have to use the word adorable, this adorable space that's there when you're right on the main road. And I go in there to get a variety of these things that we're going to be talking about in a minute. And it's also the space that everybody hears me talk about when I get my Christmas trees, and I put up those awesome mm -hmm. pictures from the massive trees that I get from you. That's right. But what's happening at the farm stand that's also launching Father's Day weekend? Well, we have the Blackbird Farm Farmer's Market, which is going to be on Fridays from uh, 4 to 7. And then we're going to launch on Sundays as well, 11 to 2, with different vendors. And these are all farmer-based uh, food artisans. Um, we're waiting for Backyard Food Company to give us the okay that they're coming. Nice. Um, but uh, the boys usually do show up, <laughs> and we just have to call them a few times, but um, it's all farmer-based. So this is all food that was grown by the farmer and the food artisan that made the food. And, of course, you can buy all of our beef and all of our pork inside the farm stand and eggs that are raised by my daughter's farm. Now, I went last year a couple times because mm -hmm. you had it on, on different days and stuff. I th was it Saturdays last mm -hmm. time? Yeah, so last year I went Saturdays, and the variety was pretty extensive. Um, and if you're a foodie like I am, to be able to go and check this out on Father's Day when this is happening, it's Friday and Sunday? So, last year, oh, you mean it was on, no, it wasn't on a Saturday. We always did a Friday. Fridays, that's what uh, it's okay. Four to seven, and the variety is impeccable. The, yeah. the, look at the quality from the farm. Know, this is this. from the farm, which is in Chapachet, that are going to be one of our vendors. And look at the radishes, radishes are all real. fresh. They just picked them about an hour ago, so I could bring them on here today. Wow. And they're a wonderful farm to deal with. You have Angel Farm from Lincoln. Um, the farm itself is from Chapachet. Wow. Um, you have uh, Haven. Uh, let's see, there's a veg. <laughs> I'm loving this. But, there's, but the variety of people that Flowers. are coming out this, again, yep. all Rhode Island based, which is something that's important to us. And I was, it was Fridays because I was going mm -hmm. before I was cooking dinner. But this one that you're going to do will be Friday and Sunday that weekend? Oh, Sunday? yes. Okay. And it's right. every weekend. It's every weekend till October 19th. So we're going to launch from June 15th to October 19th. And we'll pick up more vendors as the season gets more uh, vegetables and more fruits available. More things become available. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then Sugar and Maple will be there all the time. And now, say who Sugar and Maple are, because we've said this before, and everybody sees my pictures, and my boys love them, getting pictures taken with them. So, it's Sugar and Maple are some brown, brown Swiss um, oxen that are owned by Grandpa Ted, which is my daughter-in-law's grandfather. And they're kind of like the mascot of the farm stand, and they... Um, take people for wagon rides. Uh, Grandpa talks about old agriculture from back in the days and how these animals were used. And, um, and he takes kids for rides and the adults take pictures. Um, um, and these are massive, very big animals. Yeah, they're like. known to cause a few accidents <laughs> on Route 7. People stretching their heads <laughs> to see what they are over there. Yep, they yep. think they're statues, but they're really live animals that you can come up and pet and uh, get to know. And, and they're about 13 years old. They weigh 1,400 pounds they're a piece. 13 years old? Yeah. Really? Yep. So I have to say, it's a great photo op. I, I've done it many times. I actually did it before the Super Bowl when I stopped mm -hmm. in to see you, and they're out there. They had Patriots flags hanging from the cart and everything. And then I've done it other times. Even I think I even did it at Christmas time because you guys had a month when the trees were out. Right. Yep. And, you know, I want to give a shout-out to Eat, Drink, R.I. Eat, Drink, R.I. puts the farmer's mar market together so the farmer can concentrate on taking care of animals, haying, feeding and whatever else that we're doing. And um, David, David Adakian from Eat Drink R.I. has done many, many great things. He's got a great website. If you haven't checked it out, but I have plugged him when he just had his Eat Drink R.I. festival because I went to the Sommelier Smackdown. Mm -hmm. I went to the Grand Tasting at the Convention Center. He does a, a really, really good job. So, David, we appreciate you very much out there. And we do because this farmer wouldn't be able to work without you. <laughs> That's awesome. So I want to go over some of the, the items that are going to be in this farm stand for purchasing for Father's Day and also the restaurants that are going to be having the Blackbird 
in their restaurants. Okay. Uh, Castle Hill will be one. Chef Lou let me know the other day that there's going to be tons of bacon and tons of pork for brunch or dinners. Yeah, and Chef Lou's awesome. We've had him on here before, and he, that was one of the times we gave you a, a shout-out because he's, he's a great chef over there. Um, then you have Easy Entertaining. Burger, burger, burger on Father's Day. Either pork or beef, I think. Kate's doing that? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And then you have Cook and Dagger in Smithfield doing the burger, uh, either in pork or beef. Okay. Um, let's see, who else is on there? Um, there's Kenny O's that just started with us. Um, I think he's got some burger there. Um, oh, Nick's on Broadway. Can't Nick's forget Nick's on Broadway. Tons of pork. So I'm getting a question text to me that oh, just came out there. So again, this is from the perspective of things to do on Father's Day and mm -hmm. being able to go there. And then the question I just got asked my friend Jake is that, yes, every dad would love to have you pick this stuff up for him and not have to cook it. So if you go over there, mm -hmm. and this and the farm stands, what are the hours of the farm stand? Cause it's oh, not the just farm stand is open now uh, Thursday, Fridays, uh, 1 to 6, and then uh, Saturdays, 9 to 6, and Sundays, 9 to 4. Okay. But then we'll be open all the time with the Moomoo truck. So you got plenty of time to be able to go and shop, even if you don't make it on Father's Day, to get these amazing things. Mm -hmm. And besides the places that she's recommending and talking about the carrier product, you know, from Derek at Nick's to Chef Lou at Castle Hill, these guys carry your products on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, and you don't want to forget the Salted Slate and Mercer yep. Deli. Yep. Um, Nick is a, uh, Nick's and Salted Slate, all these people that I've mentioned in all these restaurants are big supporters of Blackbird Farm and know the quality that we produce at so, our farm. So Benjamin Lloyd came on here. We talked mm -hmm. about Mercer's when it was opening another time. So, so I mean, she gets shout outs all the time. So he came on and he was talking about how he's taking products in and he's preparing them. Same as Nick, I think, right? Every other week. Yeah. And Nick gets uh, every other week or every week. Um, yeah. Uh, pork bellies and pigs and then uh, beef. Yeah. And they're great pictures when these guys put them up to show you the quality of the product that's coming in and what they're putting into making it to the product that meets your plate. All right, so what do we have here on the plate? So huh? you have your eight ounce beef patties, two to a package. Look how big they that's are. huge. There isn't a bun that'll fit those. Oh my God. And then you have Sharice that is all made by Central Falls Provision. There's five ingredients, and then you have the hot dogs that is made by Central Falls Provisions as well. Okay. I don't have the hot dogs with me, but there's only five to six ingredients in, in there that's made with the pork butt and the pork shoulder, okay. and you can see what's in there um, for the ingredients. You have sirloin tips. Look at that. Oh Look at the God, marbling, the marbling on those on tips that's from the sirloin. You can't get anything better than that. And remember, our meats are all dry aged. The pork is dry aged and the beef is dry aged for 21 days. And the pork is dry aged for two weeks before wow. they cut. Um, and those are American Heritage Berkshire pork chops with the bone in. Um, and they're all, they come in all different sizes. And you have bone in, boneless, you have spare ribs. And think about the person that likes to smoke. You have brisket. Right. You have shoulder and butt from the pork and you have ribs. So you just mentioned something that was interesting. I think we've talked about in the past mm -hmm. about the types of cut of pork things, so whether it's the bud or different mm -hmm. things. It, does it still hang up? Because I went in before in the past and there was a chart that was saying where the different cuts of meat mm -hmm. are coming from. Is that still in the farm stand? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a great way to educate yourself. And one of the things that I have to say that I learned from her team and your sons being there is that I found that there was different cuts and different styles of things that I was enjoying mm -hmm. that I liked. And I think that if you're looking to purchase something for dad as a great gift to bring something is that you may want to pick out something you know he's familiar with and then something new that you can bring in there to, to cook along with it because that education is, is huge. Not only is it good for the taste and the style, but from your health standpoint. Well, you want to add as little as possible to these cuts of meat. You don't want to do a wishbone salad dressing. You want to keep these as close right. to natural as possible because we're putting all the great stuff in there. No hormones, no, no hormones, no antibiotics, and we all feed non-GMOs, which is really important this day and age. And the thing is, you're going to taste the, f the true value of this meat just by salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Right. So talk about the style, because this is, I think, an important thing mm -hmm. to put out there as well of the beef and the pork. So it's, you know, it's black Angus, but it's... It's 100% black, black Angus. Black Angus. Angus. Right. And we're not talking... Certified Angus beef is what your clients know in the grocery store. That's as little as 10% Angus. We raise the whole 100% from the pedigrees to the breeding. And when you see the marbling like this, this is coming from the breeding. These animals have to be bred with this. It's not from feeding them. Um, Rick, if you drive by the farm now, you're going to see a spectacular animal that we just got in um, from Nebraska. Really? It's a beautiful bull that we just brought in that's going to add more marbling to our meat in the next generation. 
I have to stop by and get a picture of that. There's hundreds of them out there. I'm surprised you haven't seen them. No, I've them. seen them on the, is, is the black. I've seen them all on the side of the road when I'm driving down to get to the farm stand. They've all been on the field. I just put them out there the oh other my day. God, they all I saw ran them. down yeah. there. Yep. I saw there was a lot of them. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> oh my God. But those actually those are the your breeding animals. That's your your daddy which your mom is, and the, the future generation of the herd is out there. This no, over that was when I drove, so if you're familiar with Lincoln and Smithville, mm -hmm. when I drove down Limemark Road to get over to the farm, so that's why I saw them on the right in the mm -hmm. field on Limemark, That's right? them. Yeah. So the cattle that we put back into the meat program and the farm stand and restaurants are up on the other side of the farm, which are seen when we do events. Um, Dave will be putting some uh, Eat, Drink, R.I., um, uh, wine dinners together in August that people can come out and enjoy and see these beautiful animals around you. So you're gonna have dinners at the property for you? I yep. know he puts together in the summer different ones. So there's gonna be one out there with you? Oh yeah, it's up uh, on the other side of the farm where nobody really sees. So you have to make sure you guys, both you and David, let me know when that happens because I wanna make sure I put that out there. Those, thing, those dinners see. are not to miss, they are amazing. And then the, the pigs are amazing. They're on half acre lots. Um, they eat non-GMO, they eat berries and grapes. Um, and they're just really beautiful black pigs. Yeah. They're gorgeous. They're the Angus of pork. Um, and if they're fed the right way, then you get this meat. You get the quality. Yeah, it's all about the quality. And look at the marbling. You can't know, beat that. Know, and you know what they say, you can't beat our meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I wanted to bring this in to talk about the great things she has happening, but there's some special things that are happening for Father's Day with the Moo Moo. Mm -hmm. The Moo Moo uh, trailer, uh, ice cream it? trailer. Ice cream trailer. Yep. And then also the fact that the farmers markets are launching that weekend. So, two great things that I know myself and a lot of other dads will be able to enjoy, and great ingredients that you can come together to make something for dad for that Father's so Day. So, I do want to mention one thing before I leave. Of course. We want to remember it is National Dairy Month. Yep. And we are supporting Rody Fresh milk and uh, Rody Fresh ice cream on the Moo Moo trailer. So awesome. it's, it's really fun to come out and support them. There's only eight of those farms left in the state of Rhode Island. Really? Yeah, that's it. So it gives me to one more question. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about having the Rody Fresh and then the, the fountain, being able to do the fountain dr or the... Oh, the Yacht Club the Soda? Yacht Club soda oh, yeah. How many different types of ice cream are you going to have? Do you know? Oh, my God. There's 12 to 24. Really? Oh, yeah. And Blackbird oh. has its own signature, too. Really? What's oh, that? Yeah. What's oh, I can't like? tell you oh, everything. I can't let you on all these secrets. Come I can't on. even tell you all about that trailer. But it's all news to come. I mean, let me tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to do espresso. We're going to do some shakes on that trailer, too. Okay. I'll be at the trailer, and I'll do a Facebook <laughs> Live with her and take pictures, and I'm going to put that out there. Yep. So, Amory, thanks for making oh, the time. This is awesome. you're very welcome. I love this stuff. Thank you, Rick, awesome for everything. You. This is so cool. Oh, I'll be eating a couple of those radishes. Don't worry. No, I'm, I'm giving you the whole basket. Oh, this is all awesome. yours to you're take. the best. So let me put right. it in the bag. Thank you. Taylor's going to help you I have to take my boys' stuff back. <laughs> Maybe that'll make them call. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, take, Thank tell you. them they better be there. I have to get a nice shout out now. <laughs> All I right. Got everything. Thank you, Rick. Look at that, Taylor. Thanks, Amory. All right. So, last but not least, covering a different part of the state, I want to bring in Bill Connolly, who's a manager over at Ironworks Tavern. And uh, I give a shout out to Lori and Bill and the chef out there because this restaurant is truly a, a special spot to go to. When I lived in Cranston, I was actually eating there every single week, every single Friday. I was a regular, but this space has got a lot going on, and it's another location that, uh, from a different part of the state that I felt was great. So let's bring Bill in and get started talking about Ironworks. Armando, you're not getting this, I'm telling you. Hey, Bill, how, how are we doing? You? Sir, doing well, sir, yourself? Awesome. Excellent. Okay. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for, for making the time, everybody. No, let it be Right here. over here. Over this side? Yep. Sure. Oh my God, the aromas are killing me. Oh, not terrible there. And French fries. Not, not a bad thing to have a short in the middle of the afternoon, that's for sure. No not a bad way, way to spend an afternoon. Not at all. And thank you for making the time because I know you got a crazy schedule. No, my pleasure. My, son's, saw, in the, my I, son's in the back I, hanging I was out. Say, so I we, saw, we made it. We I got saw here. Little it's a guy out there. Yeah, he's here. Oh, some Malbec. I know you like You remember correctly? You're a Malbec kind of guy, oh, Rick. So I wanted to for sure. Fit your flavor profile. Bring, oh, yeah. bring some glasses right here for Perfect. us both because I know we can both use it. Thanks again for making the time. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. So before we get to these amazing dishes. Sure. I want to have Bill just give you kind of like a, a verbal overview of the setup of Ironworks because you guys have got a lot going on there and you've got, you know, we I do. want to make sure we cover upstairs at the tavern and sure. the downstairs, but kind of give us a, a verbal visual if somebody's walking in for the first time what they'll see. Ironworks Tavern, um, it's, it's a great, it's a historical building. We're actually set in the old Rhode Island Malleable Ironworks factory itself, the office building. Um, <clears throat> you walk in the building, it's got this sort of great sort of old mystique about it. It's the original office building for the Malleable Ironworks factory. 
great sort of original woodworking there. Um, really nice bar set up with a nice metal bar top that accents the wood beautifully with the nice little train that runs on the top of the bar half there. Um, upstairs the tavern, again the original offices for the Ironworks factory. <coughs> original doors up there, original copper breakers in the wall, just really sort of charming and historical and some nice character to it. Uh, just warm, inviting woods. Uh, not an overwhelmingly large space downstairs, but a comforting and sort of comfortable one at the same time. Yeah, and the, the historic character, I have to say something, being some of them a history buff on it, sure. is the historic character not just with the woodworking and the, you know, the paying homage to the past, but you have photographs. We do. Yeah, all, yeah, all around the, the, the first floor itself in the dining room, as well as in the hallways that you enter into Ironworks Tavern from, in the bathrooms, there's different pictures that feature the workers from the building and what the land looked like originally when it was first uh, built in 1867, all the way through when it caught on fire in 1919. Burned the factory down, unfortunately, but it was rebuilt pretty immediately at that point in time. Uh, went back into business uh, when and ran until 2003 when they knocked the building down and built a hotel next to us out of the original bricks from the factory. From the factory, a fun little right. fact. Yeah, yeah it's a 331,000 bricks that were stacked up back in the parking lot. And there's really cool pictures and of that too. <laughs> really it's cool awesome. Picture. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great building. It's kind of one of those if these walls could talk kind of feelings about so it. So the hotel was there first. Correct. And, and if you see it from the main street, you see, depending on the angle you're coming from in Warwick, you see either the restaurant first or you'll see the hotel first. But how, long, how old is the restaurant now? Right. We opened in 2009. 2009, okay. November of 2009, so we've opened about nine years now. So you mentioned, come on over, you mentioned oh, the upstairs at the tavern. So this space, and I have to say, because I've had a special occasion there, this space has got not only the original woodworking and stuff that's there, you've got some rooms that are named mm -hmm. after the original people, the Jefferson Room and different stuff. Correct. But from an event perspective, and I can tell you because I had my rehearsal dinner there for my wedding, is that the space is perfect to host your occasion. And I know that there's a lot of stuff coming up, graduation parties, rehearsal dinners, anniversaries. This is one of those spaces for a different part of the city, or different part of the state, excuse me, being out of you know Providence to find a space, an event space to go to, mm -hmm. it, it's an awesome space. And I sure. give it from that personal perspective of having something there. Um, and downstairs for dining, what's the hours of operations for anyone? We are, the, the kitchen, we open 11.30 for lunch, Monday through Saturday. Uh, Sundays, Sundays we just do dinner service from three to 10. And then again, uh, during the week we close at 10 o'clock for the kitchen. Fridays and Saturdays we close at 11 p.m. Right. Now, this is a space I can honestly tell you, knowing what just happened there for Easter and Mother's Day, if you're considering coming in for Father's Day, you definitely need to get your reservation in because 11 days out with what you have going on, mm -hmm. tell us what you guys are doing for Father's Day before we get to this awesome Well, menu. so we do have you know kind of in combination with Father's Day and with the graduations that are happening currently, this sort of dads and grads promo that we're running. Uh, as long as Dads you, and grads. Dads and grads. Um, if, we, if you book a reservation prior to that Saturday on Father's Day, the 16th, uh, you will receive 20% off your party's bill that evening. Um, any of those days that you book, again, leading up until the 16th. Uh, if you book after the 16th, we'd still love to have you, but the discount at that point in time, the promo runs but through you the 16th. Up to the day before. <laughs> we want to take care of everybody. Right? Come on, we want to get, everyone, tell get you. everybody right. in. You know, okay. we want to single anybody out or rule anybody out. We want see? everybody to be there and take advantage of the discount and come well, see what we have to offer. Very big of you and Lori, because I got to tell you, dads, you know, us, we want to have just like moms. We want to have our reservations sure, made, know where we're going. But so you're going to get 20 percent off if you make it up to the 16th, but off yes, the entire check. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice promotion to have there. All right, so now we got to get to the menu because I drool at Ironworks menu on a regular basis. But tell me about some of the things you brought today as I sip some of this we, wine. We'll cheers, give it a cheers, you. please. Yeah, thank you again for having me. Of Appreciate course. it. So a couple different dishes here. Um, we'll start, we'll, we'll leave that one for the last one here. We'll start with our, this is our swordfish, which is going on, we're, we're revamping the dinner menu as we speak. It'll be going on the dinner menu. We feature swordfish as a nightly dinner special. Uh, locally fished, locally caught swordfish here with a uh, wild rice, a little bit of asparagus, some uh, roasted carrots and green beans there as well. The nice little sort of butter squash Beautiful puree fish. on the bottom of the plate. Got some really great colors, some great flavors. Again, we want to be into the local sustainable stuff. We want to fish locally. We have our own sort of garden. We pick our own vegetables and things of that nature awesome. as well. So we uh, try to keep things as local and as you know, farm to table as they say as we possibly can. Uh, over here, we have another great dish for Father's Day. Uh, all we all men in our lives, our fathers love the steak, love to grill. It's a 16 ounce grilled ribeye. Serve with some crispy baby potatoes, a little bit of grilled asparagus there as well, with wow. a compound butter and some charred scallion that on is top a there. Good size, look at that. It is a nice size, yeah. It, it's a 16 ounce ribeye. Uh, obviously, you know, hand cut from, uh, for, uh, from uh, our butcher purveyors. Again, a great dish for Father's Day. Uh, then we come to our lobster roll, another very mm -hmm. popular dish. So you get a good six ounces of lobster meat in there, very lightly dressed. We want the lobster to kind of be the star of the show there. We right. don't want it to be overwhelmed by the dressing or by other, you know, celery and onions and stuff that are in there. So just lightly dressed, just to kind of make it stick together. But as you can see, uh, great oh, consistency God. of lobster roll there, good claw meat, as opposed to just being sort of a chopped lobster salad just tossed in mayo. Uh, right. So serve with our house-cut french fries that we house-cut and make in-house every single day. 
And then at the end, we have kind of our signature dish here. This is our 12 hour braised short rib. Wow. Uh, Mouth watering, delectable. Yeah, you don't, you don't need a knife yeah. for it, you barely need a fork, you can eat it with a spoon. Wow. It really does. It breaks right apart, braised for 12 hours, its own juices, uh, served with some roasted garlic mashed potatoes, and again, the roasted carrots, and then with the braising jus kind of served over it on the pickup of the window. The aromas from the jus, I got to tell you, are overpowering. They're yeah, amazing. one of our most popular dishes. Yeah. No question. Absolutely. absolutely. So we were talking about this earlier that I got comments that I posted too many meat pictures in my first promotion I'm putting out there. Showing these type of dishes shows you the type of stuff that's available, not just on a regular basis, but for dads to come in and enjoy. I tell you, that lobster roll would be killer any day of the week. Absolutely. But for Father's Day weekend to be able to come in and do that. So on Sunday, it's there's. I know I, I'd heard that there's going to be some different dishes that will be represented for additions. Yeah, we, kind of, yeah, right? we do. Every, every day of the week, we offer our full menu, of course. Uh, we also do daily specials, both lunch and dinner. They change from lunch to dinner. Um, and come Father's Day, there will be obviously a special Father's Day menu available with our full dinner menu, uh, which will feature you know, different sort of items you know, for the dads. Things are some hearty sort of, you know, just Father's Day style dishes there, of awesome. course. Now, Bill, you've been in the business a long time. You've been, you've been around, seen a lot of changes, a lot of different things sure. that are out there. The style and this having Ironworks in Warwick, mm -hmm. it seems to be that, you know, going back to 2009 when we were there, is that you guys helped kind of catapult, uh, call it, I don't want to say the quality, but the level of hospitality that was there. Because before, before it was a lot more chains. Sure. There was a lot more fast food that was coming up into Warwick. And I think since you guys have gotten there, there's been other great establishments that have continued to open Agreed. up around you. Mm -hmm, 100%. Um, from your perspective of people coming in, you, you even in Warwick, you're still seeing everything. You've got the hotel there, so you're seeing tourists. Yep. You've got locals like myself that were going there once a Absolutely. week because I was running into people that I'd see the same Friday night. Of course. Yeah, we've got plenty, plenty of regulars at the bar and the dining room. Like I said, a great demographic from you know, the traveling clientele that we have, being so close to the airport and being attached to the hotel that we are there as well. Uh, a good, again, business traveling you know, dynamic there. People that are going on family vacations, they're flying out to go to Disney. Right. With the you know, advent of all these new airlines at the airport, with Norwegian Air coming in, different things like that that have brought just a whole new you level a, of travelers in, which is you nice. You've a new know. hotel going up across the street. We do. There's a, brand, there's, a, there's a Hyatt opening up just across right next to the parking garage where we're located. Uh, we're located at 697 Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick, Rhode Island, of course. Uh, there is a brand new Hyatt opening up next couple of weeks, I believe. It's, yeah, uh, it's slated to open very, very soon. It looks gorgeous over there. It looks beautiful. Yeah, they were moving pretty quickly on it. So you guys, I mean, you've got a great team that's in the kitchen. Lori, Bill, Dennis, who does the events over there. What are some of, I know these are dishes that are, we we're talking about gearing towards Father's Day and some new menu ones. What are some of the most popular dishes that you see come out of that the people seem to constantly want? I, I know there's one that comes to my mind that I enjoy all the time, the mac and cheese. Sure. So well, that's the, the first and foremost would be the short we brought here, of course. Right. Um, definitely our signature item, you know, one of, if not the best seller in the building. Uh, again, it's a nice hearty dish. The flavors are incredible. The texture of the meat is really unbeatable. Again, you can eat it with a, with a spoon. You don't even need a knife. You barely need a fork. It breaks apart beautifully. Our uh, mac and cheese is great. We have a mac and cheese sauce, which unlike a lot of places, we have a gluten-free mac and cheese sauce at this point in time. As we know, this, this gluten-free situation has become a very popular one. We want to be able to accommodate all the guests that are out there, whether it be a gluten allergy or sensitivity, whatever right. the case may be there. So we do have three different kinds of mac and cheese that we offer. Mac and cheese with bacon. We do have a chicken bacon chive mac and cheese. We have a pulled beef short rib mac and cheese. So the same beef that you see here is kind of right. pulled and shredded and tossed with our mac and cheese sauce. Uh, again, gluten-free and the pasta. Then we have our signature mac and cheese, which is the pasta, the cheese sauce, all of them top of breadcrumbs and finished in the oven to give a nice little bit of a you know, bite and texture, a little bit of crunch to them. Right. Yeah, so uh, this is, again, when you go in and check the menus, and th like you were mentioning earlier about rotating a new summer menu coming sure. on soon, this is the type of thing that go online. Again, another great website that's got a lot of visual effects for you, like I was mentioning earlier for Tel Aviv, is that you're going to see food pictures, which a lot of us are visual and love that. You're going to see the menus that are there. But please, as I'm saying for everybody today, make sure that you make a reservation to get out there because not only can you take advantage of the awesome 20% promotion sure. that they're talking about off your check is great, but you want to make sure that you have a space. And from the event side, can you remind me, what's the capacity upstairs? for? Upstairs? We've got a couple different rooms up there, so it depends on the style of party that you want to do. Um, we do have the large room there being the great room, of course, which is the largest of the three rooms. Depending on the style of event you're looking for, it can range any, you know, up to about 885, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something a little more cocktail style, a little less formal, uh, with a little less tables and chairs there, something that's not a seated event. There's certainly a little more room there, uh, but again, it's a great it's a great space. You can view it on our website. There's a great 3D virtual tour on the website Very that gives good. you a whole look at the space from a 3D perspective, which is really super impressive and really super cool to look at. I recommend anybody taking a look at that. I've seen quite a few function spaces in my day in this business, in this state and around, 
and it's one of the one of the one of the more beautiful function spaces I've seen. It's no, really I agree, and I a like beautiful I said, spot. I, from a personal perspective, I had my rehearsal center now. The other thing I want to add, and this does happen in the suburbs, which is a great thing. And someone asked if they must have parking. Yes, they have parking, and it's ample. because of your connection to the hotel. You've got an extraordinary amount of parking. Of parking. Yes. Yeah, there's an ample amount of parking. Absolutely, so there's plenty into, of it. So you run into a good spot when you're there. But check out these dishes. We'll put photographs up there. We're gonna. I can't encourage you enough to talk and get out and make these reservations for any of my guests today. I want to thank you for no, joining you. me and making the time. Where's your son? You. Where's, where's well, he? Taylor, him. where is he? Can we find Liam? Liam, right? Liam. Liam, he's, come in here and say hi. William doesn't call him the fourth. We call him Liam for short, though. Liam. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, we uh, named him Liam, after. Liam, where are you, buddy? Come on, bud. Where are you? We have a special guest appearance here. Well, come here. He come is. over here. Come, come right here. over here in the back. Come right up here. Hop up there. Come up here. Hop up there. Come here. Say hi to everybody. How are you? Give me a handshake. Say hi. How are you? Can you there? say hi to everybody? It's a camera. Is there anybody special you should say hi to? Like mom, dad's here already, grandparents. Who do you want to say hi to? Say hi to mom, grandma, grandpa. <laughs> so Liam, you're going to make sure that you take care of your dad on Father's Day, right? Yeah. Did you want to say something about Father's Day? You want to say anything about Father's Day? What do you want to say? say? Happy Father's Day to all fathers. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. All right. I'm Rick Simone. Thank you for joining me on The Taste Thank this week. You. We had our special guest. Four great places to check out for things that are happening for Father's Day weekend. I'll do another reminder for you next week because you'll be at, at an even shorter time frame. But thank you again to all of my guests today, Tel Aviv, Ironworks Tavern, Blackbird Farm, and, of course, Fleming's over here in Providence. But Merck Simone again, thank you for joining me on The Taste today. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks,